today we are talking about Overlord and how it works and how you should use it on the dynamic Cold War campaign server. This video should be useful not only for people who are new to Overlord, but also players that have already used it. If this is your first time here, this channel focuses on multiplayer sim gameplay, so if you're into that, please subscribe. Overlord is a bot that uses voice recognition to listen in on SRS frequencies and to be able to act as a GCI by receiving and giving out information. It's a fantastic piece of technology and was created by Rooney Jones. And it helps alleviate one of the biggest issues in the DCS Cold War scene, the situational awareness problem. Spotting is really hard in DCS and the default AWAX system leaves a lot to be desired and this is where Overlord comes in. Overlord gives accurate information to players that and follows a good threat prioritization tree so you can have a better idea of where to look in order to find contacts. This makes the game much more enjoyable because you don't have to strain your eyes to look around. You're not getting bogey dope calls for contacts that are over 100 kilometers away when someone's within 5 kilometers of you. It just makes sense and it's really easy to use. With that said, there is a financial cost to Overlord and that's why we're making this video. We spend anywhere from four to $600 a month on Overlord. And the only way for the cost to go down is to make sure that people are educated and to know how to use this tool. The more you talk to Overlord, the more it costs. So if you if you get good with using it, you shouldn't have to call it as often. If you would like to support us with Overlord costs, please see my Patreon in, in the description. Overlord is set to be an all-seeing eye on our server. This means she sees all planes at all times and can vector you into enemy targets. This helps promote good behavior on the server. It pushes people up off the deck and you can't cockroach and hide in trees. So compare this with other servers and you will notice that a lot of people fly really low. And the reason for that is because the default DCS AWAC system works off of line of sight. If the AWACS has a direct line of sight to you, it can see you and it will be able to report your position in bogey dope calls. If you fly low in the mountains or in the trees, the AWACS won't see you and essentially you become a stealth fighter. So Overlord keeps everyone honest and the incentive to fly at treetop level is not, um, is not as large as on other servers. Now that you have this baseline understanding of how she kind of works, we're gonna go over some commands you can use and what it looked like from a map perspective. So you really get an idea of like how she really works. Please note that on the server, Overlord currently ignores helicopters. We are only talking about fixed wing aircraft on this video. First things first is to be connected to the server and SRS with an Overlord friendly name. These should be common English words and not words from the NATO phonetic alphabet. I use admin 11. If you find that she cannot understand your call sign, you should change it to something simple, like Apple 24. Once you spawned in, you should tune your radio to one of the two Overlord channels, which you can see here. You should then test to see if Overlord can understand you by doing a radio check like this. Overlord admin 11 radio check. Admin 11 Overlord 5x5. Five if you find that she cannot understand you, then you may need to do voice training, which I have linked in the description below. It's basically what you're going to be doing is speaking to Overlord and sending your audio files. And what will happen is the machine learning system is going to basically churn through what you said and the language model will understand your voice. And then next time when you come back on the server, it should be able to understand you better. We can start using it to find the enemy. The first two commands are shopping and bogey dope. They are similar but have different uses. Calling shopping ask Overlord for a target. For example, I would say Overlord admin 11 shopping. Overlord will then give me a bra call for an enemy and it decides which one it will give me based on a threat prioritization. And it actually does a fairly good job about this. Now bogey dope is a bit different. Bogey dope when you append a plane type on the command is asking for specific information. 
So in this example, if I were to say overlord admin 11 bogey dope warthog, overlord would ignore this f5 that is closer to me and give me information on the a10. You can find the list of all the different overlord plane names in the description below. There's a lot of them, but this, this command is very, very useful. If you know there's a certain plane around you and you only want information on that one. So now we know how to get information on contacts around us and even to get specific information on a type of aircraft. The thing is though, is that this would get exhausting and costly if we had to constantly ask for information. This is where the tripwire command comes in. The tripwire command sounds like this. Overlord admin 11 set tripwire 12 kilometers. Admin 11, overlord, copy, warning 12 kilometers. When you set up a tripwire, you actually set up two warning rings around you that overlord monitors. Anytime a plane flies into those rings, she warns you in two different ways. The blue ring is the range that you asked for, and she will give you a warning. The red ring is the merge radius, and this is set up by default at five nautical miles or 9.26 kilometers. She will call merge when a plane enters that red ring. Rooney Jones, the creator of Overlord, has created a new feature, which we will be adding onto the server soon, where you can ask for a one kilometer tripwire, and this will only give you merge warnings. Tripwire is great because you set it up when you take off or when you're already in the air, and you are given a warning when someone gets near you. So this gives you time to react. Tripwires can also be overwhelming if you do not manage it properly. You're gonna get spanned by Overlord, and this is annoying to everyone on the channel because this is more information that you can handle and it also runs up the cost of Overlord. For example, when you fly to the front line, there may be a lot of aircraft there. Overlord is going to give you a warning for every single aircraft that appears and then a second warning when they get within merge range of you. While she's running through the list of aircraft, you may not know that there's someone behind you or someone else coming. So there's two lessons here. One, you do not need tripwires that are really far ranges. I would say 15 kilometers is really the max you should use maybe 20 in some circumstances if you're flying around the edges of the front line but if you're flying at the front you do not need really long ones we will punish players that use excessively long trip wires because and what we'll do is we'll take away the overload access additionally you can cancel trip wires by saying overlord admin 11 cancel trip wire or cancel warning this is useful because once you have already merged you do not need to know about every single plane that's coming within your blue ring or your warning ring you just need to know about the plane that you're fighting now. And you probably wanted to get additional bogey dopes or shopping calls to get update information for the people that are within arm's length of you. You hold Overlord hostage when you are flying in a busy area and do not cancel your tripwires. So please be mindful of your fellow players. The last command I would like to talk about is the where is command. This is useful to find players. It's hard to spot and you may have lost your wingman. If you know their call sign, you can ask Overlord where they are and she will direct you to them. This is also really helpful to help teammates who are in a furball and you want to assist them. You should never talk to players in Overlord channels. Again, Overlord costs money, so avoid talking to fellow players on Overlord. If you hear a teammate is merged with several, you can ask Overlord where they are and then you can get a brawl call to assist them. It sounds like this. Overlord Admin 11, where is Snake 97? Admin 11, Overlord, Bra 287, 286, Angels 1. I hope you guys found this helpful. Again, the API that powers Overlord is very expensive because the server is so popular. Every single call to Overlord and every single call from Overlord costs us money because of the Microsoft API. We love that the server is vibing with a lot of people and are happy to work on the server, but the financial costs are a bit much. So if you would like to help, please consider donating to the Patreon. Please also keep in mind that this, that this channel acts as a mouthpiece for the server. So if you would like to help in an additional way, please like and subscribe so this video reaches more people via the YouTube algorithm. Thank you.